Hello, welcome back to the woods, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Bushcraft Gear Top Tips number eight. And this top tip is for those of you who use these type of head torches. Doesn't matter what name it is, this one's a Petzl one, I've got other ones, but it's the one with the single strap on the back. Now these are a great bit of safety kit, particularly if you spend time out after dark. Not just for around camp, but I tend to keep one on the top of my pack at all times, just in case I've got to walk back in the dark, particularly if I'm moving along roads, in which case I want other road users to be able to see me, which they can from the front, but on these, they can't from the rear. There's, there's nothing that reflects. So what you could do is you could put a little piece of glint tape on the back. The problem is where these are adjustable to allow for different types of headwear and they're elastic, well if you change headwear then it might not be directly at the back where you want it. It might be on the side in which case it's not a whole lot of good. So what I've come up with for mine are these. And this is a little reflector but it moves up and down. It slides quite freely so even though I've adjusted for different headwear I can just slide it so it always sits directly at the back. It also makes finding these greeny coloured ones a lot easier if you drop them on the ground. You've got something nice and brightly coloured to tell you where it is. These are dead easy to do and I'll tell you how I've done mine. So to make these all you need is an empty drinks can, some Gorilla Tape, I usually go for the two inch wide and the one inch wide for this particular project, a little bit of glint tape and a set of kitchen scissors for cutting the tin. Your first job is to cut a piece of tin out of the side of the can and it wants to be about an inch wide. And lengthwise, it wants to be about two and a half to three times the width of your actual headband. With that done, take a piece of the two inch wide Gorilla Tape, strip it off and stick your little piece of tin to it and stick it evenly in the centre so you've got an even portion on each side you can then fold in, protecting you from those sharp edges. With that done, get your head strap for your torch, place it on it and then just fold one edge in, fold the other edge in. Then to hold it all in place, you get your one inch Gorilla Tape and you wind that round a couple of times and that will hold it all in place. All you then do is get your glint tape and boom, you're away. I usually put a couple of bands on Can make it wider put three bands really wide four bands whatever you like the important thing is you've got something that allows you to be seen in vehicle headlights from behind also it allows your torch to be found if you've dropped it on the ground to 
So there you go, my bushcraft gear top tip number eight. If you thought this was useful, then remember, hit that thumbs up button. It's always helpful. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, and the links for those are down in the box down below. And there is also a link to my Etsy shop. Pop over there, get yourself one of the green craft patches. If you keep looking at the shop, you'll see some other kit appearing very soon that you can buy too. And it's stuff that I've used in the video. Some of it's old favorites, some of it's new stuff that I know you guys are itching to get your hands on. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.